You guys said you wanted more weird and strange ways that people died, so I've come to provide. Here's another five weird and strange ways that people actually died. Number five, Hans Steininger's beard. Hans was a 16th century Burgomeister. That basically means he was the mayor of a town in Austria. Over the centuries, a lot's been forgotten about him and his life. However, there is one thing that still remains, and that is his huge, ginormous beard. I mean, seriously, this thing belongs on a wizard. It's apparently four and a half foot long, which is about 1.4 meters. Hans was a very popular and much loved mayor. But on the 28th of September, 1567, there was a large fire in his town. People were panicking. Obviously, this is like 99 years before the Great Fire of London. They weren't very well equipped to deal with big fires. So everyone's running around, panicking, screaming. Hands are probably flying in air like off some sort of program. Now, when you've got a beard as long as hands, you need to store it somewhere. I know on your chin's probably an ideal place, but don't forget this beard is really long. You'd always be kicking it. I'd probably throw mine on my shoulder or wrap it around my neck as a scarf. But what Hans did was roll it up and put it in his pocket. However, amongst this fire, there was a lot of commotion. How was he supposed to have the time to roll up his beard and put it in his pocket? I mean, come on, this is a time of panic. He's supposed to be running around with his hands in the air. So at this time, he's running around panicking and his beard is wafting about freely. In the midst of all the chaos, he accidentally stepped on his own beard. This caused him to trip and it sent him tumbling down the stairs. Unfortunately, on the way down the stairs, he broke his neck and died. But, viva la beard. You can still see the huge beard four centuries later, because it's currently in a museum in Austria. Number four, killed by politeness. Tycho Brahe was a famous astronomer. On the 13th of October 1601, he attended a buffet on the Bohemian court of Rosenberg. During this one-hour banquet, he decided he needed the toilet. He really needed a pee. But he was also fully aware that it would be deemed very rude for him to leave the table halfway through the meal. So, he sat tight, probably with his legs crossed even tighter. Anyway, the banquet was over, so he could finally go and relieve himself. And much to his surprise, and I'm sure his disappointment, he couldn't do it. He just couldn't pee. He went 11 very uncomfortable days without being able to pee. On the 11th day, his bladder gave way. It burst and caused him to die. It's reported that he wrote his own epitaph, and that stated, He lived like a sage, and died like a fool. Number three, I didn't get a title for this one. I just wanted to warn you, it's truly horrific. Seriously guys, if you're squeamish, I would suggest that you mute this for 30 seconds or so, or if you're on YouTube, look at the chapters and skip it. 24-year-old Santiago Alvarado was attempting to burgle a bicycle shop. He wanted himself some new bikes. I don't know if that's what he actually wanted. He might have just been trying to sell them. Either which way, he was trying to burgle this cycling shop. And I'm not quite sure how he intended to get in. But he deemed it that he needed to get onto the roof. Now, obviously, he's burgling this shop during the night. So it's dark. He needs a torch. But he's also going to need both his hands so he can climb up onto the roof. So he decides what most of us would decide. He's going to put his torch in his mouth and climb up. Now, he gets onto the roof all is well. But pretty much as soon as he gets onto the roof, the roof collapses. The torch is still in his mouth. He fell through the roof, hit the floor. Or should I say the torch hit the floor. The hit was that much force, the torch went back to the base of his skull and killed him instantly. Number two, bench back. 16-year-old Jamie Breno was out playing golf with his friends. They were at the Kingsborough Golf Club in Gloversville, New York. But things weren't going quite right for Jamie and he was having an, a bit of bad luck. And after a final bad strike, he decided to take his anger out, his frustration out, on a bench. So he whacked this bench with his number three wooden club, and as he did so, the club broke. The broken piece of the shaft bounced back at him and pierced his pulmonary vein, leaving him to bleed out on the floor. Number one is the most crazy, it's demonstration gone wrong. Gary Hoyt was a corporate and securities law specialist in Toronto. On the 9th of July 1993, he was giving a tour at the Toronto Dominion Centre to some students. That's a skyscraper for those of you that don't know. Now, obviously, a skyscraper is really tall, made of glass. This glass has to be really strong. 
Least of all, they don't want wind blowing through it or the pressure inside the building, and they don't want anyone tripping over onto the windows and falling out. So Gary decides that he's going to demonstrate to these students how strong these windows are. Now, I mean, personally, I'd have just said, take my word for it. But he wanted to demonstrate, so, okay, how are you going to do that? Probably pick up a stapler or something, hole puncher, throw it at the window. Oh no, Gary decided he was going to jump up the window. That's right, he was going to throw himself out the window. This, by the way, is something that is apparently done a few times in the past. And every time he's done it, he's just bounced back off. So I know exactly what you're expecting to happen. This really tough glass is going to break. No, he jumps out the window and the glass doesn't break. The glass was super strong. However, the frame broke. Although the structure was designed to stop somebody falling into it, they didn't quite expect a 160 pound man to run and jump at it. So the frame gave way, the entire panel of glass came out unbroken and down Gary went with the window. There you go guys, that's this week's five stories for Stranger Than Fiction. I've got a fact for you before we finish off. Did you know that every single year worldwide, 450 people die from falling out of bed. On that note, sleep well. Good night.